serious accident has closed a major road into Cardiff uh, this evening. Eyewitnesses say two vehicles appear to have uh, been involved in the collision on the A4232 southbound between Calder House Cross and Neckwith. Multiple emergency services vehicles, uh, including an ambulance, have been at the scene. Well, let's uh, check in on the weather. We were saying earlier it's been a lovely week, but... Oh. I tell you, I've washed everything in the house. Literally, the children are coming in through the front door, and that's it. Uniforms off in the washing machine. <laughs> the uniforms, that is. Not. These are the bugs that no one wants to share their bed with. But while most of us would rather bed bugs were nowhere near us, a scientist here at the University of Sheffield has been gathering and studying the insects for decades. With an international team of biologists, he's captured the secrets of their evolutionary history and success. So they're, they're very um, sensitive to CO2 and to warmth. And in return, he often provides his books with a meal. I can just grab one here, and if you can just hold the tube and put the top back on. Okay, yeah. And I can take this one and put it on the back of my hand, ah. and it should, because she's quite hungry, she'll stop. There we go, and she's what? now... Are you I can just, your butt? Yeah, I can just feel her now. She's pushing her mouth parts into the skin. The biggest surprise was that they've been around for 115 million years, which was twice as long as we, we thought they'd been around for. Everyone, up until our study was published, people thought they evolved 50 million years ago with mammals and, and, and bats. And, and what our study shows is they were around at the time of dinosaurs. They outlived the dinosaurs. They did. Tougher than the dinosaurs. Yeah, they're tough. They're tough. There are 100 different species of bed bug. Only two feed on humans. And the secret to why they do that and how to control them could be hidden in this genetic information that the scientists have gathered. So I just stick it on there. Meanwhile, bed bugs will continue to do what they do best. Ah. Bite. Oh, you can see my blood in it. Ew. <laughs> it's gross. Victoria Gill, BBC News. Well, that really is gross. Um, let's go to something far more pleasant, I hope. Nick Miller, how's the weather? I've got one hand to point at the map, the other hand to scratch as we go through oh, no, this. But bear with me for that. More cloud around today. It's turned a bit cooler as well. A sign of things to come over the next few days. Here's a satellite picture from today. Still plenty of sunshine out there. An area of cloud coming towards us from the east gives the chance for a little rain as we go into the start of the weekend. And in fact, tonight from thicker cloud running into England, we're going to see some some outbreaks of rain moving in, though very patchy in in the coldest parts of Aberdeenshire. Into tomorrow, then, it is a cloudier day for many of us. Some early rain pushing through western areas of England, through Wales. Further showers following on behind with plenty of cloud. The cloud running into eastern Scotland later. Some rain coming in for the evening. But northern and western Scotland, northern Ireland, northwest England staying mainly dry.